Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. Today we are going to see how to draw projection of line inclined to both the planes. Initially I will be explaining what are the things we have asked in the question and then I will be telling what are the data we need to find and then I will be explaining step by step how to draw the diagram. The distance between the projection between the two points A and B is 70 mm. So distance between the projector is 70 mm. That's what I have written here. The point A is 10 mm above HP. So A point will be 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. And point B is 50 mm above HP and 40 mm in front of VP. And we need to uh, measure the true, true inclination of the line AB with VP and HP. And we need to for, determine all these. That is theta, phi, alpha, beta, front view, top view, and true length, etc. We going to determine and uh, check whether we are having 5 data so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 if we are having 5 data means it is sufficient enough for us to solve the problem first step is we need to draw a reference line the reference line is x, y and according to first angle projection we will be writing vertical plane above and horizontal plane below next step is we will be using the first data that is point A is 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. So from the reference line, you have to take 10 mm above HP. So from reference line, take 10 mm and draw a straight line. From reference line, take 15 mm and draw a straight line. On this line, you can keep anywhere. That is, the point can be kept here, 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 anywhere. So approximately, I am keeping a point towards left hand side. So I am keeping a point here and naming it as A dash. It, you should clearly understand that A dash and A will be lying on the same line. So on this locus, A will be lying and A dash and A will be falling on the same line. No need to draw this straight line because for my convenience I have drawn, you can use your scale and just plot a point. Say to it that A dash and A lying on the same line, distance here will be 10 mm and distance here will be 15 mm. The next point B is, 50 mm above HP. So from the reference line, from the reference line, take 50 mm. So from the reference line, take 50 mm and you can draw a straight line. And that line is called as locus of B dash. And from the reference line, say 40 mm, 40 mm in front of VP. So from the reference line, keep your scale and measure 40 mm. So distance between reference line and this line is 40 mm and just draw a straight line. And this line is called as a locus of B. After that, you just write all the locus. So, once we determine 4 locus means then 60% uh, of the sum is over. So, you can write this line as locus of B dash, this line as locus of A dash, this line as locus of A and this line as locus of B. But the problem is, <coughs> we don't know where to keep the point. So, we need to keep a point right. So, we will be finding some other data for uh, connecting these two points. The next thing is distance between the end projectors is 70 mm right. So from A dash, from A dash keep your scale and measure 70 mm. From A dash keep your scale and measure 70 mm and try to draw a uh, uh, thin line. Try to draw a thin line. The reason is the line will be cutting the locus of B dash as well as locus of A, locus of B. So we need to mark only this point. Okay. We need to mark only this point. One second I repeat. Uh, Distance between A dash and this point, okay. Take your scale and measure 70 mm. For 70 mm, keep a point here and draw a vertical line. This vertical line will be cutting the locus of B dash at this point and locus of B at locus of B at this point and just mark this point as B dash and this point as B. Then join A dash B dash. A dash B dash will be your front view and join A B. A B will be your top view. See to it that these two lines should be very very dark. It should be drawn with your HP pencil. A A dash will be lying on same line. B B dash will be lying on the same line. And this is the uh, distance between the end projector is this, the distance between this, this these two points. The distance between A and B is denoted as the distance between the end projector and this distance is denoted as 70 mm. 
keep in your mind that we need to only rotate the front view and top view this is rotating line method the meaning is we will be rotating the front view and top view when we rotate the front view so take your compass measure a dash b dash and try to rotate it when you rotate it the line will be cutting the locus of a dash at one point and that point is called as b2 dash so once again i tell take your compass measure radius as a dash b dash and keep your compass at a dash and try to rotate it when you rotate the arc will be cutting the locus of a dash at one point and that point is called as b2 dash then try to extend this point to the opposite locus that is if its locus of a dash means you will be extending this line till locus of b if a dash means b so extend that line vertically till it cuts the locus of b at one point and that point is called as b2 then join a and b2 you already caught the point b2 right just join a and b2 a b2 will be representing your true length measure a b2 this is your true length right whatever length you are getting same true length will be getting here so no need to rotate if you want means you just rotate the a b and uh, just follow the same procedure one shortcut is you can measure a b2 whatever distance you are getting keep your compass at a dash and cut an arc on the locus of b dash so approximately you will be getting like this so i am drawing without dimension right when you are drawing with exact dimension you will be getting exact values measure a b2 in your compass keep your compass at a dash and try to cut an arc here the arc will be cutting here the arc will be cutting here and you will be naming this as b1 dash now just join a dash b1 dash so if you join means that is your true length uh, both a dash b1 dash will be equal to a b2 will be equal to your true length now we just going to draw how to draw the i mean how to dimension these lines now we going to draw the extension line the extension line should be very very thin it should be drawn with your 2h pencil same to it that if you are drawing for a dash b dash for front you are drawing in the extension line should be perpendicular and 90 degree to a dash b dash same thing for top view also when you are drawing the extension line for top view these two extension line should be perpendicular 90 degree to a b line for true length also so a b to is your true length right when you are drawing the extension line these two extension line should be perpendicular to your true length after drawing the extension line you need to draw the dimensioning line the dimensioning line can be drawn with your h pencil and see to it that your arrow head should be 3 is 1 ratio the arrow head should be drawn with your hp pencil and uh, after drawing it try to break the line and write the number vertically your line can be slanting but the number should be vertical so we have dimension a dash b dash right next thing we have to dimension for a b for the same procedure draw the diamond uh, dimensioning line break the line and write the number vertical and also uh, same thing for the true length also and initially we have drawn the 10 mm and 15 mm right because keeping that only we have kept the point a dash and a the same thing we just follow it and uh, follow the same procedure for dimensioning and the distance is 10 and here 15 from reference line it's 50 and from reference line it's 40 so these things i just told in the beginning itself but dimensioning after completing your diagram only you have to go for dimensioning before that don't go for dimensioning even if you are dimensioning the line for 10 mm try to write the dimensioning uh, at the end of the diagram after completing everything you just write whatever uh, dimensions we, which we kept see to you that your di diagram should be drawn very neatly and it should be drawn in your a3 sheet the height of the text height of the text is projection of lines right projection of line is the height of your I mean wordings will be height of your heading will be projection of lines and height of the text should be 10 mm and next thing is uh, you will be you have to uh, mark the inclination angle so 36 will be your theta and 40 will be your alpha so theta will be denoting theta will be denoting the true line inclination alpha will be denoting your front view inclination next is phi so 21 degree will be denoting your phi angle and 27 will be a beta so phi means uh, true line inclination and beta means uh, top view inclination just use your protector and uh, keep your protector here and measure all the angle and just write as it is see to it that the arrowhead should be very very small but it's very difficult for us for drawing this arrowhead but see to it you have drawn very neatly 
and uh, finally you try to put a box here so that your diagram will be looking nice after completing your diagram try to put a box on the right end and height of the text is not at all that much important and just measure whatever data you uh, drawn here so a dash b dash will be your friend view a b stop you and this is your true line and write all this data in a box to the right end of the diagram and right bottom corner we need to write that all dimensions are in mm scale only is to 1 see to it that uh, while writing the number you should not write mm because we clearly mentioned that all dimensions are in mm scale only 1 is to 1 so just try to represent your diagram very neatly in case if you have any doubt in drawing this just write in your comment section if you like this video means try to pass on this video to all first year students Thanks for watching this video and do subscribe my channel Mechanical Motivator then only you will be getting uh, whatever videos I upload regularly. Thank you.